Our fifth question is to calculate the area of RQN. So again, I'll use my highlighter and I'll highlight RQN. So I want to find the area of this green triangle. And what I notice is that we already have a perpendicular height. So if you inspect the diagram, you can see that this green triangle has a right angle in it. So we can use QN as our base and we can use the length of RN as our height. And the area of a triangle is half base times height. So in order to answer this question, I need to find the lengths of RN and QN. And I'll use the distance formula for that. So RN is equal to the difference of X's. So it's XR minus XN squared plus the difference of Y's, which is YR minus YN squared. Now this formula is also on your formula sheet. And when I substitute, I have 10 minus 6 squared plus 4 minus minus 2 squared. And I take the square root of that. And that answer is the square root of 52. So we have the length of Rn. Now we need the length of Qn. So again, I'll use the distance formula. And when I substitute, I have 3 minus 6 squared. That's the difference of x's plus the difference of y's, which is 0 minus minus 2 squared. And that simplifies to the square root of 13. So the area of the triangle RQN is equals to half the square root of 52 times the square root of 13. And when you use your calculator, you'd find that this is 13. So no units were given. So you say 13 units squared. Our last question is to calculate the y-intercept of the line MR. So we want to find the coordinates where the line MR meets the y-axis. So in a previous question, we have already calculated the gradient of the line MR. And that gradient was 4 over 7. Now we can say that y is equals to mx plus c. So we have y is equals to 4 over 7x plus c. And what we want to do is find the value of c because that represents the y-intercept in the equation of a straight line. So in order to solve c, I need to substitute a value for y and x into this equation. And you can choose to substitute any of the two points that you find on that line. Now, I prefer to substitute in the 3 and the 0 because that will simplify my calculations a little bit. So the y value becomes 0 and the x value would be 3. So if I multiply it out, that is 12 over 7 plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the c value is negative 12 over 7. And the question was to find the y-intercept. So you can also say the coordinate is when x is 0, the y value is negative 12 over 7. So that is the coordinates of the y-intercept of the line MR.